UIL, and they went with this, and they did an outstanding job. Captain Jada Woodward.
she has worked tirelessly all year long, has gone through some stuff, and just continue to push forward every single day. So good things to come from Mary Ellen. Our Jacket Award winners, and I got two of them, are Jala Kratzmeyer and Olivia Hughes. Very key runners for us. Both of them stepped up. Charlotte came in after not running last year, taking a year off, and just just tore up the track. She she pushed everybody on this team. And our girls MVP. It was hard to pick just one, so I just chose all of our senior girls for our girls MVP. And the reason I did that is they have set up this team for success. <coughs> they built a legacy that is going to last for years because of the work that they put in. And so I'm very proud of all of our senior girls. So that is Capri Riley, Riley Weekly, Keely Riley, uh, Raquel Hughes, and Hannah Zuck. So. so thank you girls again for all your work. We're looking forward to an awesome track season because that's coming up. And uh, we'll go get them again next year. Thank you guys. Now, thank you. Raquel Hughes, Macy Fisher, Lauren Simmons, 
Capri Raleigh, Olivia Hughes. And then academic all state, they had to have above a 94 average throughout their high school career. And our academic all state is Aubrey Smith, Lauren Simmons, Raleigh Weekly, Capri Raleigh, and Raquel Hughes.
my first chance to try to get these guys on. PJ, you got to get them on. Get them on. While we're getting settled here, just want to say how proud we are of this, this group of kids and what they accomplished this season. It always begins with their commitment to our after school programs and summer workouts. Um, this year we had to overcome a lot of hardships, uh, including several key injuries, uh, things like that. These kids finished with a 7 5 overall record, including a 5 2 record in district and what I believe is the toughest 3A district in the state of Texas. And, uh, and finished the year with an unbelievable game, uh, winning the Bi District Championship against Sabine. Uh, just a big, big ball game, and, and uh, we were so proud of, of these guys, what they accomplished. And we want to congratulate these young men on a great season. Yeah. 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 We'll recognize our, our senior kids first, our seniors to step up. About three big steps. We can tell you. Okay, I want to thank and congratulate each of these young men for their dedication, their commitment, their leadership, and the lasting impact that they leave on our program. And that's not just for this season, but it's the things that we've asked them to do throughout their career here and their time here. We'll certainly miss these guys next year. Uh, guys, when I call your name, we have a certificate for you. Uh, number zero, Drew Robertson. Number four, Boy Anderson. Number six, Julian Ramos. Number 21, Alexis Valeda. Number 28, Christian Martinez. Number 50, Stephen O'Weary. Number 52, Nate Griffin. And number 55, Daniel Perouche. Thank you, Sanders. Thank you, guys. All right, now I'm going, to, I'm going to go through our all district awards. These awards are voted on by the coaches, the head coaches in our district. Okay, I'm going to start with the honorable mentions. You guys, when I call your name, step forward. I'm just going to read through them and then we'll kind of clap at the end. Okay, honorable mention Brady Shrum, wide receiver. Jamarcus Kennedy, defensive back. DJ Newsom, offensive line. Brayden Allen, wide receiver. Connor Gibson, tight end. Paul Stanley, linebacker. Tanner Crenshaw, defensive line. Stephen O'Weary, offensive line. And Chris Rossi, defensive line. These were honorable mentions. Okay, second team all district guys. Bryson Myers, offensive line. Isaiah Gardner, offensive line. J.J. Gandy, wide receiver. Julian Ramos, defensive line. T.J. Moreland, quarterback. Those were our second team all district guys. Okay, first team all district. First team all district, uh, Dawson Pendergrass, running back. Coy Anderson, linebacker. Nate Griffin, defensive line. Drew Robertson, linebacker. Adam Blaylock, outside linebacker. Those were our first team on this one. Okay, we had a couple of district superlatives. Our, uh, our district utility player of the year uh, was Kaysen Davis. Our district special teams player of the year, Christian Martinez. Okay, we had a couple other recognitions this uh, this week. Some of the All-State stuff started to come out, and we had some guys recognized for that. So uh, our Padilla All-State second team at linebacker, Coy Anderson. Okay, then we had another one at second team punter and first team running back. Uh, All-State was Dawson Pendergrass. Okay, moving on to our academic all district. We had 15 of these kids this year, which is a, a bunch, okay? They had to maintain an A average throughout the uh, course of the football season. I'm gonna read these guys out. Okay, Coy Anderson, Julian Ramos, Alexis Valeda, 
Christian Martinez, Daniel Carouche, Stephen O'Weary, Adam Layla, Casey Davis, TJ Moreland, Dawson Pendergrass. Is that right? Dawson Pendergrass? I'm a dad. Brady Strum, Connor Gibson, Isaiah Gardner, Paul Stanley, and freshman Caleb Moretti. Congratulations, those are our academic colleagues. Love you, Caleb. Okay, in addition to that, we had two recognized as academic all state, meaning they had to maintain a 92 or above GPA throughout the four years of their high school career. And those two guys were uh, honorable mention, Julian Ramos and Alexis Valeda, academic all state. Okay, now we'll move on to our team awards. These awards are voted on every year by our coaching staff. Uh, and it's not always easy. Sometimes it's it's difficult trying to figure this this stuff out because everybody has an important role on, on these teams, and we try to recognize as many kids as we can. I'm gonna start with our special teams player. This kid provided consistency to our special teams. He was 42 out of 50 on his extra points, two out of two on on his field goals. He improved consistently throughout the season and uh, was a big weapon for us. And that was Christian Martinez. Our defensive back award goes to a young man who had 111 tackles, uh, two forced fumbles, an interception that was returned for a touchdown. One of our smartest kids, uh, most dependable, and he's versatile. We asked him to play a lot of positions for us, and, uh, and that was Adam Blaylock. <laughs> At linebacker, this kid was second on our team with 146 tackles. Averaging over 12 tackles a game. Uh, one of our toughest kids. He always played with a high motor, maximum effort. Uh, one of the original members of the Bash Brothers. And that's Drew Roberts. He knows who that name is. Defensive lineman had 74 tackles, two sacks, two forced fumbles, three fumble recoveries, eight quarterback pressure. Had a lot of stats. Bottom line is, the most physically disrupted kid that we had this year on defense. Just a tough, tough kid. And every week the opponents had a hard time blocking him, especially when he didn't want to be blocked. And that was Nate Griffin. <laughs> Offensive lineman, one of our hardest working, most dependable kids. Shows up with a great attitude every day. Uh, also plays the most important position in football, and that's center. That's a guy that snaps the ball because if somebody gets to yell at, I don't know that anybody got to yell at more than this kid this year. Um, but he took it with a smile, and he showed up every day with a great attitude anyway. And that was Isaiah Gordon. Wide receivers next. We had two kids, almost identical numbers, so we had to do two. The number one had 17 catches for 369 yards and four touchdowns. One had 18 catches for 323 yards and four, four touchdowns. They were both extremely valuable, played a big role for us this year. And our receivers this year were J.J. Gandy and Brady Shrum. <laughs> Offensive back next. This kid had 61 completions uh, for over 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns. 55% uh, uh, completion percentage. He also rushed for 163 yards and two touchdowns. Most importantly, he's responsible for getting everybody lined up and make sure we all remember the play and what we're supposed to do. And that's quarterback DJ Moore. Got now our MVP, starting with our defensive MVP. This kid led our team in tackles with 183. 146 of those were solo tackles. Average over 16 a game, uh, had an amazing 25 tackles for a loss on the year, I and mean, it's really incredible. Uh, probably the best tackler I, I, that I've ever had. Unquestioned leader force on defense was All-State. Uh, in his position, the second member of our Bath Brothers, Coy Anderson. <laughs> Offensive MVP, okay, had 2,004 yards rushing, 26 touchdowns. Had one for 99 yards and nobody caught him. Had 374 yards receiving and four touchdowns with an 83 yard long. Our offensive MVP was Dawson Pendergrass. <laughs> the 
Okay, team MVP. Uh, defensively, had 47 tackles, six interceptions, uh, four pass breakups, two fumble recoveries. On offense, he accounted for 2,378 yards and 30 touchdowns. One of our hardest working kids, leader on our team, an elite competitor. Uh, the team MVP goes to Dawson Pittman. Okay, last but not least, one of my favorite awards, our Fighting Jack Award. Uh, it's a special award that we give every year uh, to kids who embody the spirit of a champion in everything that they do. It's reflected in their uh, attitude, effort, and toughness, both on and off the field. And this season, our coaching staff felt like we had two guys that really stepped up and embraced this role. Their impact's not always seen on, in the stat lines of every game, but they go to work every day, they, they give their all, and they help our team in, in every way we ask them to in practice and games. Uh, and they were the definition of team players for us. And this year's fighting jackets are Julian Ramos and Stephen O'Leary. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our fall sports recognition ceremony. I'd like to invite our parents who are here to come down uh, to the floor if you'd like to take pictures with our backdrop uh, as we get done here. But I appreciate everybody being here. And finally, let's give each one of these hardworking student athletes one more big round of applause. Ha <laughs> ha.